Hey guys, we're going to practice measuring um, and since you guys are going to be using these two uh, items in the classroom, I'm going to use these as our tools. Um, since we don't uh, use the rulers, um, we've got these really cool real math um, uh, rulers in the classroom. It's got inches on one side and centimeters on the other. Um, we also will be using these during the STAR test and everybody has one of these in their binders, a reference material, and again we have inches on one side and centimeters on the other. Um, so we'll be using these um, for demonstration since like I said you guys will be using these in the classroom anyway. We're going to be measuring this pencil. Um, on Friday, we did uh, do a demonstration of measuring a crayon, um, and I showed you guys measuring to the nearest inch and half inch, and I think I showed a couple of the class classes uh, measuring to the nearest quarter inch as well. That is we are, what we are going to do today. I apologize for some of the inability to see some of these lines in between. Um, if I make it too dark, you can't see it. If I make it too light, there's some distortion here. Um, and uh, we'll review when you guys get back. Um, when we get a little bit closer, um, it's uh, easier to see. And um, hopefully that will help. All right. When you are measuring anything, of course, you always start at the zero whether you are placing the item you are measuring on the tool or you are placing the tool on the item you are measuring um, you always start at zero so we have our um, pencil and I'm going to get it as close as I can okay and first we're going to figure out what this pencil is to the nearest whole inch Okay, and to the nearest whole inch, um, let's see, I'm going to move it over a little bit so you guys can see it on the screen a little bit clearer. To the nearest whole inch, okay, and I'm going to just set this aside and we're going to look at just using this. To the nearest whole inch, we're at the zero over here. Okay, remember when we were talking on Friday, to the nearest whole inch, we're looking. Um, is it closer here? Let's see, we're between the 7 and the 8. Are we closer to the 7 or are we closer to the 8? Well, in this case, we are closer to the 7. We're a little bit above, but we are closer to the 7. So we would say that this pencil is about 7 inches long. Now we need to remember that we are looking to see if the question is asking us what are we measuring to because the question may be asking us to the to the nearest um, whole inch to the nearest half inch to the nearest quarter inch and that's why we are practicing it all the different ways now next we're going to try measuring it to the nearest half inch and like I was saying on Friday that doesn't mean six and a half jump up to seven and a half that means this is a half, this is a half, this is a half. So again, we're at seven and our next half inch is seven and a half. Okay, so here we are measured again. We're measuring it to the closest, um, to the closest half inch. And as you can see, um, we have seven, or are we closer to seven and a half? Well, we are closer to seven. So again, measuring to the closest half inch, we would say we are measure, we are, um, this is, this pencil is measured um, about seven inches. If I were to, uh, if this pencil were to be about here, then we would be able to say this pencil is about seven and a half inches, okay? But in this case, we would say seven inches. All right. Now our next step would be to get even closer because the smaller the measurement we go, the more accurate we are. 
And for our inches, obviously we have nothing smaller than inches, so we use our fractions like we've just been practicing for the last couple of weeks. And we go with quarter inch. Okay, so quarter inches are these, so we have whole inches here, those are our longest lines, and then half inches are the next longest, and then the quarter inches are the next longest after that. Okay, so our quarter inches are right here, so if we go into measure by the quarter inch, we're going to see quarter inch right here. Now, this pencil, what uh, measurement to the next quarter inch is it? Well, we're looking between seven and the quarter inch here is seven and one quarter inch long. Well, it almost looks like it is exactly in between, depending on what angle the camera is in. I'm looking at it straight on. The camera's a little bit to the angle and it looks like it's, it's right at that middle line there from my perspective. That being said, we if it is right in the middle, you bump it up to the next hole, to the next measurement. Um, five or more, raise the score with any um, rounding you do. So this is the case where we would round it up to seven and one quarter inch. So we would say seven and one fourth inch. This would be uh, this pencil would equal seven and one fourth inch long. So tomorrow on Tuesday we will practice doing that in class with a couple of things using this and our real math. This, okay. Fortunately, we will only be using the whole, the half, which is the next line, and then the quarter. We won't need to be worried about these little lines in between. I'll see you guys tomorrow.